In this video, I'm going to share with you how to let users select image from their photo library and then how to upload that selected image to Amazon Web Services S3 packet. And the example I'm going to share uh, is going to be very simple. We will have a select image button. And once user taps on that uh, button, um, user is presented with the uh, camera roll, for example, where they can choose one of the images. And once they select one of the images, this image is um, presented uh, as is displayed as a sub view on the main view. But no upload takes place until they um, tap on this upload button. And when user taps on upload button, we will, we will display an activity indicator, a little uh, circle and activity indicator that telling a uh, user that something is going on while upload is taking place. And once user is uploaded, uh, we will um, display an act, uh, we will display alert controller, a dialogue with the message uh, confirming that image has been uploaded, and then dismiss activity indicator uh, and the uh, alert message. And once the image is uploaded, we will uh, have the URL to uploaded image, which we can then use to display this image within application or to store this URL in a database because the, the uh, large files and images is good to store in the cloud and Amazon S3 service is the best place to do that. And once the image is uh, uploaded to S3 service as in, into a bucket, we can use the URL and store it in the database. Okay, so um, I will, um, I have code prepared and um, this uh, video is actually a continuation uh, of for the series on my blog post on Swift Developer Blog, where I have an example how to create S3 bucket and how to add, um, how to change bucket policy so that images can be um, read from that bucket and how to create federated identity pool using Amazon Web Services Cognita service. Uh, and how to set up uh, Amazon Web Services SDK uh, for iOS platform, and eventually how to upload image to Amazon Web Services S3 bucket. But this particular example uh, reads image from the uh, application bundle rather than um, getting it from um, image picker and letting user selecting that uh, image they want to upload. And um, there is uh, already a source code to the um, example that I'm going to uh, share with you. And this source code is under Swift Developer Block code example. So if you scroll down, uh, you will find Amazon Web Services section. And there I have image upload and image upload uh, example with the UI image picker view. So if I click on this section, for example, I can copy and paste this source code and it will work. But for the uh, sake of this video, I will put this uh, entire example from the beginning, uh, but I will be reusing some of the chunks of code. For example, the uh, image picker controller, I have the code ready so that this video is not very long. I will simply go here, copy this code, and then go to my Xcode, paste it here, and then uh, start start from uh, from here. Okay, so we should have image picker controller um, implemented, and basically let's run this code. This code will uh, have the button which uh, lets us uh, to uh, presents a user with the image picker, and user can select the image they want to upload. But of course, the upload will not work because this particular code doesn't have it. We will need to edit this example to add the upload feature. So here's the button tap me. I tap on this button and uh, we are presented with two options which I can select a camera roll from. And then uh, I select an image and image is presented. So this is just the uh, image picker. And uh, let's uh, start here. Um, so when uh, view controller is uh, loaded, uh, or view did load is called, uh, we are setting up uh, image picker button, which is just a button. Here we will uh, create a button, and then we will uh, specify x and y uh, coordinates to position the button within the view, set the button size, button background color, 
and then title uh, let me uh, change it to um let me change it to select an image something like this and then um we add a target to that button which is a function when user taps on this button this function is called and uh ui image picker controller is presented uh with the source type photo library rather than camera if you change photo library to camera as a source type then user will be able to take picture rather than selecting it from the camera view okay and um, once a user selects the image and image picker controller did finish picking media with n4 function is triggered and here we have access to the image which user has selected from the info object we read original image and we set it right away to the image view and my image view is created in this function setup image view again when view did load uh, runs setup image view function is called and here we uh, create an image view and uh, just like with the button we set xy coordinates size uh, width and height and then we add the image view as a sub view very simple example uh, so let's enhance it and well, by adding an upload button to the top right corner and uh, the upload button will be a but, uh, button item uh, I have a little function created so I will paste it here so uh, we will set up upload button right after setting up the image view so basically set up uh, upload button function creates a UI button UI bar button item a button on the top right corner on the navigation bar and uh, we set the title and we also add a target which is uh, when user taps on this button the start upload uploading image function will be called and we are setting this uh, button on the right side of the navigation bar okay so let's implement the start uploading image function and um, I will uh, add an empty implementation maybe right here and uh, we'll start um, implementing this uh, function a little by little well first of all uh, to upload image we need um, let's uh, let's define um, Amazon um, credentials first so I will um, copy some code and paste it here so these are to set up Amazon credentials and um, I will add a little statement here print to make sure the button is working upload button is called um, okay so Amazon credentials uh, are using we're using Cognita and uh, we need to provide identity pool in my previous video I shared how to create an identity pool and um, if you did not watch them go ahead and um, watch it but um, identity pool uh, we can find if you log in into your Amazon console and then under mobile services there is a service called Cognita so in my video I shared in my previous video I shared how to create federated identity click on manage federated identity and here we have created an identity pool which is called video tutorial I click on video tutorial and I can go under sample code for example and either Android or uh, Swift um, I can find the identity pool ID I need here so I'll copy this identity pool ID and then paste it here and uh, this will be it but uh, we get errors because we need to import Amazon Web Services first and there are a few libraries that we need to import uh, we will need to import Amazon uh, Web Services score uh, we will need to import um, Amazon Web Services S3 service um, and that's it so um, 
now we don't get this error so we create uh, Amazon Cognitive Credentials Provider uh, and then we create configuration and we uh, then create Amazon Web Service Manager with this configuration uh, the next step for us is to set up the bucket um, configuration uh, and the um, file name so um, the bucket is called learn swift this is where i'm going to be uploading files and if i go to my again uh, amazon web services um, homepage, uh, there is s3 service if i click on that s3 service there will be a list of buckets that i already have and i'm going to be uh, i'm going to upload image to the one that's called learn swift here so i have a couple of images here i will delete them I'll delete them and go back to my source code. So the bucket name is Learn Swift, and then we will need to provide the uh, URL to that image we are going to be uploading. The key will be the file name of the image. The name of the bucket is going to be Learn Swift, uh, Learn Swift and content type is going to be Image JPEG. The reason I have hard coded content type, we could have determined it. Uh, but because we are, I'm uploading only images, I've just hard-coded it. Okay, so we, uh, for this code to work, we need to have a local file name. To read file name uh, from the image that user selects, we will need to import one more library, which is called Forus. So I will import Forus, and then I'll need to scroll down uh, to this code. Uh, image picker controller did finish um, picking image uh, and I will uh, add one more line here which is um, which reads the uh, reference URL to the selected image the information about selected image is stored under info object so we are reading the reference URL to the selected image and that's going to be an NS URL I'll scroll up and define one more variable here of type NS URL okay now having this uh, selected image URL we can read the file name from it so I'll scroll up here to our start upload image um, function and at the top of this function I'll add a few more lines of code uh, that use um, the photo library asset uh, right here so here we use this selected image URL and we check if it's not empty. If it's not, we assign, we get the uh, object image to upload URL. And then we use it with the photo uh, library asset uh, to fetch uh, the details. And then uh, we, from the result, we get the first object's file name. This is how we read file name. And the file name is empty we will return and not run any code um, you it's not necessary but I've, I've added it uh, okay so we have the file name we have uh, credentials uh, now we need a URL because Amazon transfer manager takes URL rather than file name so uh, the generate image URL is going to be a function which I have also prepared and basically what this function does it takes the image uh, it takes the image uh, let me paste the function here um, it takes the uh, it creates the URL to the file name that we are going to be uploading and this file name is just the file name of selected image it's not yet a URL so by uh, executing this line we are creating an, an SURL to the file in temporary directory and then we read image which is uh, currently being displayed as a sub view on our uh, main view this is the image user selected and we decrease its uh, uh, quality a little bit uh, from being perfect to uh, a little bit less otherwise the image size is very large it's it's up to 17 uh, or so megabytes and then we uh, store this file in a temporary directory. Uh, uh, so uh, this function will return URL, which is then added 
uh, as a body to uh, Amazon Web Services Transfer Manager upload request. Uh, and once this is done, we are ready to upload image. So I've also prepared a little code here. I will paste it. So what we do here, uh, once the bucket is configured, we will need to create an instance of Transfer Manager here. We create an instance of transfer manager and then we call upload function on that instance and once the upload request uh, executes uh, a block of code is triggered and inside of this block of code we will stop activity indicator uh, from animating from circling and then uh, we will check if there are any error messages if error took place uh, we can display alert or in, in to simplify i simply print out the uh, error message description if exception exception takes place i'll also print out exception otherwise um, i create uh, i compose a url um, a public url to that image which i can take and store in database in my case i simply print it out but uh, we use uh, it to store in database so that we can retrieve that URL and use it to display image within application. And then we remove the locally, the, the file to the image that was stored in a temporary directory so that it doesn't take place. So let me copy, uh, let, let's implement that function quickly. Uh, it's a little function that basically takes the URL to the image so here we have generate image URL and here we have remove that image. So we take file name and then we create the URL to that file name in the temporary directory. And then we use file manager to remove that item using this URL. So once image is uploaded, we remove this URL and then we display alert message uh, to confirm uh, to the user that image has been uploaded and display alert message is also a little uh, function that i have created uh, basically it uh, creates an instance of uh, ui alert controller and then um, displays that ui alert controller uh, to the user um, with a message so here's the function that displays alert message and it has only one button uh, OK button. It's an uh, alert action. When user taps on this button, it does nothing. It simply prints OK button tapped and disappears. And then we add this OK button to our alert and we present alert controller to user. And the reason I'm um, using, um, my, I'm, I'm presenting alert controller from the main asynchronous task on the main queue is because the image upload is performed in background so that the application remains uh, responsive while image is being uploaded and um, from background thread if you want and if you need to communicate with uh, ui components you will need to use a synchronous task on main queue the same um, example here we're using a synchronous task on the main queue to stop activity indicator from circling uh, and let's quickly add code uh, that displays activity indicator so here at the top we will uh, declare activity indicator that little circling uh, spinning um, element and uh, activity indicator uh, will be implemented as a separate function I'll add it uh, inside of view did load uh, and let me copy and paste that little function uh, here as well so I'll scroll down a little bit let's put it here uh, okay so basically we are creating an instance of activity indicator of gray style and then we're centering it within the view and then we instruct uh, to hide it when it stops so by default it will not appear because by default when it is added as a sub view it will be uh, not active it will be stopped and not visible to user and we set a background color white background color you can create customize this activity indicator as you wish as just an example so we have activity indicator and we will start uh, its animation or we will make it visible uh, to user uh, right before uploading image. So here we check the file and the file name is okay. It's not nil. 
uh, we will uh, use activity indicator and we will start its animation and would immediately become visible to a uh, user and then once our uh, image is uploaded and this block of code execute is executed this activity indicator will hide and will stop animation so let's save this code uh, i think we're done with it and run this example and see how it works here we go we have upload button and we have select image button let me put a breakpoint here uh, before uh, upload button is called and then i'll put the breakpoint uh, here uh, just uh, before um, inside of the continue with block to know that upload has been completed so um, we'll tap on select image go to camera roll select one of the images it is displayed as sub view and tap on upload button so upload button function is called so that works i'll simply play it and i see that image upload is going on uh, and once it's done continue with block is triggered and activity indicator will stop i'll also let it play and i get the image has been uploaded alert displayed very good so let's um try again just select a different image camera roll pick an image and upload we see activity indicator displayed and once upload is complete alert is displayed and activity indicator is also displayed very good and i can go now back to my um s3 bucket learn swift and i'll refresh this bucket content and i see that i have two images uh, with the image names read properly um, and the url so if i i can read url to that image here from uh, by looking up at its properties uh, by the properties tab or i can go into my source code and once the image is uploaded i print out url public url to that image which is which we can then store to database and i can open that image here um, and it's a large image uh, okay so this is it for this example again the source code the example in this video is under code examples swift developer block code examples you can scroll down under amazon web services select image with ui picker and when you click on it there is a tutorial uh, with the with the code itself I mean uh, a, a code uh, with no explanation uh, but if you scroll down there is a link to a blog post to a video tutorial that explains how to create bucket how to edit bucket policy how to use Amazon Cognito service um, and so on so click on this uh, URL and it will take you to a blog post which contains videos to uh, show you how to upload image to Amazon web services uh, this is it I hope this video and the blog post is useful to you and uh, if it is please uh, do share it with your friends do share it on social media uh, that will um, also help me a lot thank you very much